in judgment is taught. You see, if you could ask me which mitzvah is the greatest mitzvah in Rosh Hashanah, which mitzvah? Which mitzvah? First, first, first. You know which mitzvah? Yeah, no, no, it's not the mitzvah. Shofar. Only one mitzvah. Only one application. And this application from the Bible. Yom Kippur is not from the Bible. Tashlich is not from the Bible. It's Minak. Pomegranate and apple and honey is not from the Bible. It's not from the Ramadan. Minak. Everything that we do, who do you do? It's Minak. A person fight with his wife because she forgot date. How do you forget date? Now we're going to have Arab on here. Yes, you're right. You're going to have a hard body here because you got angry. Not because you missed the date. Or the pomegranate or the apple and none. Because you got upset on your wife for foolish act. What's the big deal if you had the date or you didn't? It's only sign. Beautiful. I'm not but let's not get carried away. But, Shofar, the wife, you have to wake up. Ladies, even though that you're not obligated, please make the effort to be there in the synagogue. It's important for you to hear the shofar. Why is it important for you? You say, but I'm not obligated. I will tell you why it's important. Today I'm going to explain you once and for all why shofar is important. You see, there's many reasons why we burn the shofar. One of the simplest reasons is because God says so. Like any mitzvah, God told you to keep shofar, to keep shofar. He doesn't have to ask you. He doesn't have to ask you permission. He tell you, you follow. We are slave and he's the king. Life is amazing, right? How many times you try to ask him, Abba, why? Right. What's the meaning of I told you, you just do it. Mm-hmm. Why did they need to explain everything that, especially in the end age, that they ask him why 200 times? Stop asking me why, you just do what I'm telling you. Beautiful. Another explanation is no. And this is the explanation. Why Abba, Abba, when the devil hears the shofar, is getting confused. What's mean getting confused? One opinion is the devil ran away from the womb. The second opinion is the devil become your advocate. He become your lawyer. From being the persecutor, he become now. I will tell you a simple question. If I take you to a court, to a court. And in the court, I sue you that you owe me ten thousand dollar binyan. And he said, Rabbi, no problem. Take me to the court. I took you to religious court. That forbid. And uh, the witness didn't show up. What's the, what's the verdict? If the witness didn't show up, what's the verdict? Who is getting? Who is winning? You or me? I'm suing you. Who is winning? Me. Beautiful. There's no witnesses. No case. How many witnesses have we need? So beautiful. It's right. What exactly happened? If the prosecutor didn't, 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 didn't show up, the prosecutor, the lawyer that coming against you doesn't show up. Jonathan at, at law. He doesn't show up. What exactly, Michael, what exactly happened? The case is dismissed in the middle of a second. Okay. Where's the lawyer? I don't care how many witnesses. You can have 200 witnesses. The case fell down. Where's the, where's the lawyer? I don't know. So who's talking? Nobody's talking. So why are you coming here? To lose my time? Every time we blow in the shofar, the prosecutor disappeared. Meaning for sure, the case is dismissed. Why? It's many reasons, two reasons, it's simple. Today the show is gonna be a little deep, we're raising the bar, we are two days before Rosh Hashanah. It's a time for us, Bezrat Hashem, to get deep messages. Now why the devil disappeared? Either or. Either because when you hear the shofar, you believe, that we do in Teshuvah. And when a Jew is doing Teshuvah, you know what's the level of Teshuvah? Magat at Kisei Kavod. Teshuvah achieved the highest level of Shammai. And not only that, I will tell you the uniqueness. Do you know what's the problem of doing Teshuvah? Especially Teshuvah Me'ava, when you're returning to God out of love and not out of fear. Is one way to stay married with your wife because you are afraid that if your wife divorces you, she's going to get 50% of your money. And the lawyer told you, listen, you're sitting down at $20 million. You have a brand new house that you just built. You have a business that you know everything. Better for you stay married. <laughs> so you know, just come and apologize and forget about it. 
Now your wife will forgive you. But the taste is a bad taste. The different ways is when you made the mistakes, you came back to your wife and said, You know what, my wife? After the mistakes I did, I realized, and you sincerely said, Not fake, not because you're afraid. Sincerely, I know that you are the best gift in my life. The best gift, nothing will ever be equal to you. Every time I'm talking to Shlomo, and every morning when he comes to Shlomo, I see him smiling. He said, Why are you smiling so much? He said, Rabbi, my Rebecca is God's gift. And that boy will not be this. He said, I love God. I said, Why do you love God? He said, Because God gave it to me. God, what, what do you think is being Benson? What do you think is Benson? Every time I'm talking to Ben, he said, Rabbi, it's the last year I have to come wine. My wife is the best this year. Amen, Ben? You see, then when your wife forgives you, she will not only forgive you for the sin, you're going to get paid for the mistake that you did. You know why you're going to get paid? Because of the mistakes, your relationship became the best relationship. Sometimes only when a person do mistakes, he realizes and he come back and then 25 years later they live in Ganeden. Because of what? Because of the mistakes. When a person doing the Shuvah Me'ava, all you sin that you did, you're going to get paid for it. Now, the devil said, if he's getting paid, what's the point to mention the sin? <laughs> now I'm going to get a book paid. <laughs> Every sin I mention, he's going to get paid. I'm not mentioning, I'm running. Le Balpel et Satan. You understand the logic? He's afraid to mention. He doesn't want to mention. He doesn't want to be the prosecutor. Because being the prosecutor means him. So, this is one reason. Second reason is, because every time you blow the shofar, the devil is afraid for his position. Why is he afraid? Anyone here know why the devil is afraid for his position? For his job? He's afraid he's going to get fired and he's going to get punished? Why? Because Mashiach is coming with the shofar. And he said, maybe Mashiach is coming right now. And if Mashiach is going to come, I'm going to get punished. And I don't I'm going to get, my job is done. So it's better for me to run away. And he's running away. So shofar is the one. How do you know that? How do you know? Now this is one reason of the shofar. Second reason is, every man know in this room, every man know that a husband or wife have a name that the name symbolizes judgment, judgment, strict, cold relationship, or they have a name that symbolizes merciful. Honey, sweetheart, Junam Bazam, Bazam Bazam. They have certain names that you know. And each husband and wife have a name, that nickname, so some love names, that every time you're calling your wife at this, you know, she will become in a good mood. God have many names. From these names, which name represent judgment? Which names? Okay. And okay. Which names represent Merciful. The Pasuk said, Allah Elohim Betua Amonai because Shofar. Every time you blow in the Shofar, Bore Olam moving from the name Elohim, the name Yud Kavavke. From judgment to merciful. The power of Shofar is to take the anger of God and to make it peaceful and merciful. Now Bore Olam is in a good mood. Michael, if this is so, I will tell you a secret. Listen to the secret. How do you write Elohim? How do you write? Anyone here know Hebrew? How do you write Elohim? Aleph, Lamed, and then Hey, not Kuf. Elohim, we said, because we're not allowed to mention the name. Hey, and then you, then Men. You know how much is the numerical number of the name Elohim? 86. 86. So, so far, the lucky number of tonight is what? 86. Let's continue. They have a way that you can open the name. You know how you open the name? The name is short. My name is Asher. How many letters? Three letters. Aleph, Shin, Duresh. Now I will prove you that my name is not three letters. It's actually seven letters. How do you get to seven letters for my name? Very simple. Aleph, Aleph, Shin, Aleph, Shin, Resh. Two plus, two, plus three plus one, six. Six letters, okay? From three, become double, right? Beautiful. Elohim also, they have a way. Elohim, Aleph, 
then Aleph Lamed, Aleph Lamed, K, A, Aleph Lamed, A, Yud, and do you know how much is the numerical number of all these names? I made a calculation, I will make it easy. 200. Now, they have a way to open the name even wider. Avram, how can you open the name even wider? Meaning, beautiful. Avram, today is a... You're doing something good, I don't know, maybe the food, maybe... Something good, maybe the cappuccino in the morning, something good, for Hashem. You know? How do you open up a little more? Asher. How do you write Asher? Aleph. You know how you write Aleph? Aleph, Lamed, Pei. Shin, Shin, Yud, Nun. So Elohim. How do you write Elohim? Aleph, the Aleph, Lamed, Pei. Then, Lamed, Lamed, Mem, Dalit. And then, A, 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 or A, Yud. Whatever. I do with it. And then, Yud, Yud, Vav, Dalit. And then, Mem, Mem, Mem. Beautiful, right? How much is the numerical number of this of these wide names? You know how much? 300. So we have three, three numbers that you have to remember. What's the three number, uh, Michael? What's the three number? 86. Mr. Shalomov? 200 and 300, right? The three lucky number of tonight. This is the name of judgment. How much is Shofar a numerical number? Shin is 300. Resh is 200. Pei Vav, 86. The Shofar nullified, cancel the name Elohim and any version you put it. This version, this version, white, white, tall, skinny, any version you put judgment, Shofar is important. Shofar cancel the judgment completely. Shofar is so important, if this is so, everything that I told you today is only introduction to the questions, the million dollar questions. This year is no Shofar. Wow. You know why it's no Shofar? Because the fourth day is Shabbat. And the question is, what are you doing this year? And by the way, I will tell you, the Sefer Aruch uh, he writes like this, the worst year in the Jewish history happened, and the year that it was no Shofar, the year that Rosh Hashanah fell down in Shabbat, the Holocaust, in Kivizitsa, Spain in Kivizitsa. The first Beit HaMikdash got destroyed. The second Beit HaMikdash got destroyed. You know how many bad things happened in that year? And the question is, why, why is no Shofar in Shabbat? Why? By the way, is no Shofar in Shabbat not because of the writer. It's not because of the Bible. Maybe according to the Torah, you can blow Shofar in Shabbat. So why are we not blowing the Shofar in Shabbat? What's the reason? So but what's the reason we're not blowing Shofar? The reason is, might be, somebody gonna walk in the Rishut Arabi, might be, might be, not for sure, in order that nobody will carry in Shabbat, we don't. Do you understand what you do? You put in our life a jeopardy. You put in our future a jeopardy. You leave the prosecutor in the room. Because might be somebody. What do you mean might be? Might be is not good enough. So teach everybody not to walk outside. What's the big deal? Why we cancel because of suspicion that might be somebody will carry. And Shabbat, we don't have Shofar. You thought the question is good? Amazing, huh? Yeah. What's that? I saw two answer to them, we'll give you only one. Because I have to move to the second topic. Well, Rabbi I told you that today the Torah is for more. Rabbi Shlomo? Hey, hey, Shlomo. Just one. Just one. The only one that cannot say the name. He's the only one that cannot say his name. Because of that, they call him Shlomo. Just one, just one. Just one. Shlomo Kapar, Shlomo. Rivka, what is your future husband name? Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> We're both in the same page. Life is amazing. You know why? Because tonight is about Shlomo. Two messages to Rosh Hashanah, amazing messages. A message that will change our Rosh Hashanah. And both of them is from Rosh Hashanah. 
רב שלמה אומר את זה, קודש קודש. ברכיה, אני עשיתי את האקספלניישן של רב שלמה אומר את זה. נראה את הכתיס. שאתם, הכתיס. How do you know that your relationship with your wife is a perfect relationship? That you're going to sustain this relationship until 120 and a happy relationship? How do you know that your relationship is good? If somebody asks you, you yes, definitely, how do you know? What's the proof that your relationship is good? Huh? You see the way together. But how do you know that you're there? You see, you know when you know that relationship between a husband and wife is good? When both of them is fighting to give the credit to each other. Meaning, the wife said, my husband, you know, you have a guest in Shabbat. And you stand up, very hard to find a man to admit because we love to take the credit. We are the centerpiece and the whole world is here to serve us. The man stand up like a man, like a human being, because this is the Emmet. And he said, ladies and gentlemen, all this Shabbat that you have is because of my wife. And not because I'm politically correct. Because my wife cooked, baked, cleaned, took the, the plates from the tables, bring the dessert. Everything that happened in these tables is my wife. I'm nobody. I'm only the one that makes the phone calls. That's it. To invite is very easy. To sew, to cook, to bake, to clean. And I love it. After, after you're doing everything, your husband, what do you do? You don't do nothing. I'm doing. But thank you very much for your appreciation. Thank you very much for the kind mood. After 12 hours of working from the morning, then. thank you for the uplifting mood. You're out of your mind. This one, this one, we have the good spine. So I mean, he stand up and say, Everything is because of my wife. And the wife stood up and said, my dear husband, you're wrong. So, without your divretoire, without your people personality, without your fun and, and loving and caring, without everybody loving you, nobody's going to come. They didn't come for my food, they came for you. They came for you and your personality. You heard the fight? The fight. He's giving the credit to his wife. And what the wife said? You hope the credit to That's usual, huh? This marriage is guaranteed. To stay with happy until I have to We find the hope to take the credit. The credit is me. What do you do? You don't do that. I'm not doing it. I'm the one that raising the children. You don't do that. What do you do? You go to a vacation. Vegas business. Better business. For <laughs> three weeks in Vegas. Which three days? Two and a half days is the show. Here are three weeks business. Better business. From one hotel and one to another. From one casino to business. How many times I hear people, I'm going to Bura Bura, Cancun to business. Master business, very busy, Kapara, all his friends, the whole family, Balagan, and happened to be that Facebook is existing, or Twitter, or I don't know what you call it, and you see the pictures of the business that they're doing, and the boat, all the family, Hashem, man, they're doing business with each other, brother, brother, all the brothers, all the friends, is, and you know, he sent me a picture when he sweats, and when he have, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, in life we find him, Who's going to take the credit? But if you're going to know to fight, to get the credit, wow. What do we see? What do we see? So we see it in three different areas. We see the first area is, um, we have the feeling and boy on after feeling. We have the feeling and boy on Behind what the word the feeling said, what is in the box of the feeling? Shema Yisrael, Hashem, Elokim, Hashem. You know what I said? Boy on you are the one and the only one. The one and the only one. That's it. Borei Olam, everything belongs to you. And the Gemara said, Borei Olam also have the feeling. God also put the feeling. Spiritual, but he put the feeling. What's the feeling of God said? Mi ke'amcha Yisrael, go yechad ba'aretz. My Jewish nation, you're the only one. You see, you see what exactly happened? We put in the feeling, we said, God, you're the one. And he's put in the feeling, he said, what? You're the one. Beautiful relationship. Huh? Beautiful relationship. Next. We have Pesach. How do we call the holidays of Pesach? How do we call the holidays of Pesach? In English, how do you call Pesach? Pesach. Pesach. How did the Torah call the holidays of Pesach? Chagam Tzut. 
Passover is not exist in the Torah. Passover is our names. And the Torah is no Passover. How do you call it? Chag HaMatzot. Why is that? Did you ask the point? Listen to the explanation. Profound explanation. We said, God, the credit belongs to you. Passover, you jump over. You are the one that saved us. You are the masterpiece. And no one likes you, boy, Olam, thank you. And God said, no, no, no. You are the one to get the credit. You know why? Because you left with Matzot. Even 18 minutes you didn't have. And you never suspect me when it was no food. You went into the desert. Which people is going to the desert when I promise you food? Where exactly am I going to get you food in the desert? From, from the ground? Where are you exactly? And you still had faith in me. Bora Olam said, Chaga Matzot, you deserve to get the credit. And God said, and we said, Chaga Pesach. Credit. If this is so, this is what Shofar is all about. Now listen to the explanation. We explain why Shofar is important. Is hard to get it? Is hard, yes. We explain why Shofar is important, right? Now, this is our explanation. Shofar is, a, is important for us or for God? For us. For us. Is important or is major? Major, right? Is urgent a major C? Major. Anywhere you want to use any word is important. This is the question of death for life. Shofar is crucial. For who? For God or for us? For us. Beautiful. Shabbat. Shabbat. Is important for us or God? How, they, how can I prove it is important for God? How did they prove it? Very simple. When God gave us the, the Shabbat, what did he say? Matana yeshti bebet genazai, the Shabbat Shema. Bore Olam took Shabbat, the only mitzvah, from his safe deposit. Now, ladies, gentlemen, what exactly you put in the list, in the, in the, in the safe deposit in Switzerland? Do you put a hundred dollar bill? Do you put ring that you bought in Walmart? Or you put in watches, a hundred fifty to two hundred fifty thousand dollar watch. You put in diamond ring that costs fifty to a hundred to maybe half a million dollar. You put in millions of dollars. You put the most treasure that you have in safe deposit, right? What God put in His own safe deposit? I'm not talking about Switzerland. I'm talking about the safe deposit of God. The only item that was there was Shabbat. And God gave it to us. So Shabbat is important to God. Now what exactly have when they have contradiction? Between what is important to God to what is important to us. Do you know what the Jewish nation said? You know what is a perfect relationship? You know, Shlomo, when you're going to get married, when you know that you and Rivka will have a happy marriage until 120, and you start from now, start from now. I want that this man, this photograph, this article, picture me, not equal, photograph. Photographer is going to be the one in my. And now you have argument. No, I have. I want this J. And she said, no, I don't like this J. I like this one. No, but this portion. No, but this Bukhara. He's Israeli. He's this. He's that. I want this place to get married. Only this place. I will never. No, I want this place. You are only how many times between you and your wife they have contradiction between what you wanted and what he wanted. Basic, right? Normal relationship. Every day. Three times, five times, sometimes twenty times a day. You want them to come home and he doesn't want to come. You want them to come home and he wants to be with his friend. Right? You want them to take the children to the school and he doesn't want it. He wants to continue to sleep. Another hour because he's working out. How many times we have contradiction between what we want and you know what is a true love? When you will is more important for my will. If I'm willing to take my will, my wish, because you are the most important things in my life, so you will become more important for my will. We have shofar. 
We need shofar. We need it emergency urgent. We need it pikuach nefesh. But they have Shabbat. And maybe we're going to break the Shabbat by doing so. The Jewish nation come to God and said, we have the joker, the joker. We have the joker in our pocket. You know, when you play card, it's always someone that have the joker. What does usually keep the joker? He keep it in his hand. He will never reveal you the joker. You know why? Because the joker you revealed in the end. Foolish guy revealed the joker in the beginning. Smart man, when everybody already revealed the card, the table is full, especially expensive car, a hundred thousand dollars to a game. You have five people, because have a million dollars. And you have the joker. Now, if you're gonna show the joker, you know what's gonna happen? You're gonna win half a million dollars. How many people will hide the jokers? You have to be not no one to hide it, right? Our joker is the chauffeur. Our life depends on the chauffeur. And we're telling God, take the joker away. The most important that we're not going to break what is important for you. Do you hear that? This is Akedat Yitzchak. Akedat Yitzchak meaning, I'm not mentioning to a mind because of blue shofar, I will remember Akedat Yitzchak. That year that we have Shabbat, each one of us is doing Akedat Yitzchak. What is our Akedat Yitzchak? When we don't blow, don't blow the shofar, because the importance of God of Shabbat is more important than the Shofar. But the Shofar is the joker. He's the one that wins the games. I don't care. I'm willing to lose the games. Abraham Avinu said, I'm willing to sacrifice the only son, the only Jewish son that came after a hundred years. You know why? Because I love you, God, so much that your will is more important than my will. Forget about my will. Let's put my will aside. And this moment, the Almighty God signed and sealed you to the best years in your life. Not only that you're not losing, you will get anything because then automatically you will become more important from God. Do you hear that? What a beautiful explanation of Rabstomo Miradovsky. The greatest relationship between a husband and wife is when the will of the wife is when the will of the husband become more important for my own will. I want to sleep. But I know my husband would like to me to cook breakfast and to make him coffee and to sit down with him for two minutes. I dead. I want to sleep the whole night, the baby, every hour. I say, man, he want to eat. The baby be lying, huh? The doctor said he already got to the east, to the west, to the north. The baby become big, big. He came out four, four pounds. He already said 20 pounds. It's only one year, one year, a couple of All day long he's eating, but yeah, no. Now you want to sleep? Let my people go. No. I know how much is important for my husband. You know that his will is more important for my husband. If this is our relationship, your relationship is guaranteed to 120 years of successful. You don't need Shalom Bayit, you don't need psychology, you don't need marriage counselor, perhaps. You don't need all this nonsense. You have the best marriage in the history. We come into the Almighty God and Rosh Hashanah, we say, God, you don't understand how much you want to build the Shabbat. How much we need to build the Shabbat. You know what? You win is better for me. Yes. What about the Shabbat? Beautiful. Brit Mila is important for us or is important for her? You see, Abad Amini is important for us. The four species. When Shabbat falling down, Abad Amini. Kriyat Megillah is important for us. Being responded. Brit Mila is so important to the Almighty God that he requested, he requested the Torah clearly. Ubayom Ashmini, the Gemara said, Bayom, Afilu Beshabbat. Bore Olam do not want you to miss a minute. You know why? Because to, be, to bring you in a Shammah to your body, to become a fish that is Jew, 
Yes, you're a Jew. You come from a Jewish mother. But to bring the neshama to the body fully, according to the Kabbalah, is only when a child of Brit Mila. I do not want that soul to wait even a second. When he's ready, let it happen. Let it happen. This is my will. Bora along with you. He's the one that commands us to do Brit Mila and Shabbat. A man that he commands becomes his will. Shofar is not commanded. Shofar is the commandment of this. There was a commandment. But if you don't keep it, you don't keep it down on Shabbat. Shabbat, they have another answer, beautiful answer. I'm not going to answer it now because I want to move to the second message. So one message is, one message is, I'm tired, but okay, what's the one message is, remember, this year, if it's one decision that you have to accept, you have to, more important for Mishur Gemara, more important even for Tzedakah, more important from anything that you do, any mitzvah that you're going to take, this year is one mitzvah. Which mitzvah? Shabbat. Because this year is no other protection. Every year we have the shofar. Okay? This year is no shofar. What exactly protected the Shabbat? So this year, ladies and gentlemen, and this year you have to be very, very careful not breaking Shabbat. When you're washing dishes, when you open the hot water, when many things that you do, you have to be very careful not to break the Shabbat. Because the only protection that we have this year is the Shabbat. There's no other protection. When you're cooking, Food, you have to study the Alachot. You have to study the Alachot because if you want to be successful, when you're standing up and you're in Sunday and you hear the Shofar, what you have in mind, and especially in Shabbat, say, Boreh Olam, before Musaf, I want to tell you, Ani Mekabel Alay, Ani Mekabel, I accept upon myself, men and ladies, that this year I'm going to be very careful of my Shabbat. I will dress clothing of Shabbat and Friday, even though that my husband, He's the only one that come back home. And I want to be in pyjama. No, I'm not going to be in pyjama. I will be my neck at the Shabbat. But I don't have to. My husband, no, you have to. You're not doing it for your husband. You're doing it for Shabbat. You want your children to see you and say, wow, today is Shabbat. The best clothing. The same way that you go into weddings with the mascara, with the balagam, that you put one hour only in the eyes. And I'm not talking about the nails, balagam, all these things. You're doing it for Shabbat. And my dear guys, I will tell you, if your wife will pay money for extension, building department, and extension here, <laughs> and if she's paying money for it, and it costs money, you have nothing to do with it. Just make sure she's doing it at Friday. And when you're doing it, ladies, send the Chod Shabbat Kodesh. Not the Chod Hatuna, the weddings. Your husband comes to you every night, every, every day, and what do you have there? You accept him with pajama. <laughs> Except me who I am. This is who I am. No makeup, no extension, no nothing. This is who I am. You go to weddings, not only that you lose it to put $500 gift, you, you pay another $200 to look. I don't understand, are you doing it for them or are you doing it for your husband? Did you ever ask yourself, what's the logic? Why when I'm coming home, not even once, you're not doing it for me? I don't understand. But I'm paying for this extension and I'm paying for this makeup and I'm paying. For... Why once? You don't surprise me when I'm coming home and you dress beautiful as for you. My husband for you. For you or not? Not for the wedding. What exactly happened to the bar mitzvah? No. Tonight you and me in the house, dinner. I put the, the children sleeping, something like that. I put candles. For you, for you, for you. Not for somebody else. You're going to dress like this before Shabbat? Then the whole week you can go, don't worry. Spend money, why? The Chod Shabbat Kodesh. Boy, or now we pay for it. You have nothing to do. Don't be cheap. If you want to do it in Friday, don't be cheap. Tell her to find the best one. The best one. The one that's expensive, the one that he look good for two weeks, three weeks, or whatever. The best one, why? Boy, or now is paying, you're not paying for it. You hear that? If this is so, if this is so, what do we have the best relationship? When we said to the wedding God, you will is more important for one. So we have to accept upon ourselves Shabbat. And if you already keep Shabbat, accept 20 minutes before and 20 minutes later. And if you're already doing it, one hour show to end Shabbat. This year, we have to go the extra mile. Shabbat, Shabbat, Shabbat. Shabbat, Imi, 
You don't have to scream, you don't have to shout, you don't have to be suffering because you're going to have unlimited barkir, unlimited parasa. Money will fly this year. Luggage is kapara. The prince is going to come to pick you. The prince is going to come from Brooklyn to see. You come with the camera on the prince. You know, that's it. This is Shabbat. Shabbat is the secret. This year special. No, no, I'm not laughing. This year, be very careful on the Shabbat. I admit, I'm talking to myself as well. We have to be very, very cautious because we don't have an other advocate, other, other uh, defense for him except the Shabbat. No other mitzvah. Only one thing, Shabbat. Second thing, so with this I'm going to conclude. <coughs> the second thing, so I'm going to get into the point. I wanted to, to open up, but I'm going to go straight to the point. I'm talking about Adam's cry. You know why our tefillot is not being answered? Why the tefillot, sometimes a person is asking, why the tefillot uh, do not be mentioned, do not be answered? Why? Why many times we come to Rosh Hashanah and we pray and we cry and we scream and we ask clearly, clear, I mean, word by word, Merachet, Bitcha, Ketana, clarified request. We didn't get married, we didn't have children. Not only that, business didn't go up. Nothing, only Balagan. Our children didn't change their path. Come, I was going to make a dumb thing, right? And Tefillah, they have rules. Rules and regulation. What's the rules and regulation in the Tefillah? And this is for the second days of Rosh Hashanah. For the first day of Rosh Hashanah, remember Shabbat. For the second day of Rosh Hashanah, you have to remember what Rabbi Shlomo Maradom said. When a person pray to Hashem, he always have to start. Modei ala avar ve'az tsoek alatid. Before you come in to ask, request for the new year, for the new year, tav shin pei dalet. Tiesh nat pritza derech. Before you come in here, you said, Boreh Olam, next year I want to have children. Next year, I want to have a panasa. Next year, forget about last year. Last year was Balagan. God, I forgive you. Let's open a new page. Haram, I don't want to talk about last year because I have a lot of complaints against you. But you know what? You open a new page. I open a new And this is the reason why Olam doesn't answer you. you request. A person, when he pray to the Almighty God, you have to say, for the first day, or for the first part of the prayer, Bore Olam, thank you for last year. Thank you that I got married. Thank you that I have a house. Thank you that I have the ability to breathe and to walk. Thank you, Baruch Hashem, that I'm healthy and the diabetes didn't took over. And God forbid, they didn't reveal nothing in my body. No stage four, no stage three, no stage one and no stage two. Thank you. We don't realize how lucky we are. How many times, ladies, you're going out once in a year to check? Every day this is going once in a year to check. Guys, only when they're 40, 50, once in 50 years they go to check. It's all good, life is good, life is good, I'm young. Women have obligation, at least once in a year. Every woman is going to check. How many times when you're doing a general check, you're afraid that nothing is not going to be found and part of your bodies? Because the minute that you find a certain balloon that doesn't come, Please. pump, pump or something, how nervous you get. You don't sleep for three or four days, or maybe two weeks. And you're always afraid, maybe God forbid something. And no, Hashem, nothing happened. And you're still healthy. And God grant you for another year. Why you cannot say thank you? Mode al avar ve'az. Only then, Shoei Karati. First of all, know how to say thank you for the last year. And be met thank you. And you know why you have to say thank you? I will tell you. Because you know who came out? You know who came out in Rosh Hashanah from the pit? How do we say? What do we say in the Kiddush? What do we say in the Kiddush? Zikaron nemaaseh bereshit, chalal mikot. Zecher? Can I ask you another question this time? Maybe? And then... Avelina. Maybe is Avelina. When Avelina will pay the dinner by Esrat Hashem? Large, not breakfast dinner. What is the connection between Rosh Hashanah to Mitzrayim? Benin, Benin, Adam. What's the connection between Rosh Hashanah to Mitzrayim? 
או שישנה, זה דרך תקרה שם. היה איזה סטנד פסח, היה איזה סטנד שוקות, זה קלאוד אבדור, היה איזה איזה סטנד שבועות, מתן תורה. הוא אומר, ראש השנה תדעו את מצרים. רואים אמן של מצרים בתנו סטנד. איפה אתם מסתיקים, מסתיקים, איפה אתם מצרים? איג'פט, איג'פט, מה אתם אוהבים תדעו את איג'פט ראש השנה? איג'פט קיים אומוס 2,248 years. What, what exactly we had with Tzitzel Mitzrayim? Anyone have read this? I will answer you. Do you know who came out from, a, from, a, from, a, from Egypt? Who was a servant in Egypt? Who was a slave in Egypt? And he came out in Rosh Hashanah? Yosef HaTzadik. Yosef HaTzadik came out in Rosh Hashanah. What did he say? Vayaritzu, vayaritzu minabu. What's the meaning of vayaritzu? The rush him out. The same that explanation is that they rush him out because Paro need him. I need somebody to interpret the dreams. I need you now. But they have another explanation to the word very too. My wife is a grammar teacher in Hebrew and in English. If you don't know how to speak English, even though that you're American, my wife can teach you grammar, reading, writing English better from any American that you know. But we're talking right now about Hebrew. Murash to meet, perhaps. I want to ask you a problem. What does it mean by a ritzel? By a ritzel is minashon. Or minashon? Le'ratzot. Meaning? To please. By a ritzel, in Hebrew, many words have many meanings. Different meanings. Completely different. One of them is they rush them out. The other one is they please them. You know what it means to please them? Yosef HaTzadik is standing in the chair for 12 years. And he's asking himself, my brother sold me to Egypt. And I was in the, in the jail for no reason. I didn't have a relationship with the very woman. What's the payment? I'm in the jail for 12 years. Why are you bad things happening with me? Why you put me in the jail? For many years he had these questions, but he never, he was always happy. Thank God yourself was always happy. This is the message of Rosh Hashanah. Yourself was always happy because of that he came out in Rosh Hashanah. Why? Because when he came out, and then he became the most powerful human being, the most powerful Jew in the world history. Until today, nobody was more powerful and more rich and more smart and more successful than Yosef. And Yosef said, you know why I became to this position? Because the 12 years that I was in the jail and I met the butler and the, okay. the baker and they went back to Paro and they taught Paro and now because of Thank you for putting me in the chair. Now I'm pleased. Now I understand why you did what you did. Many of us throughout the years, you know it's difficult for us to say thank you? Because last year, according to us, was a hard year. We lost money, the business didn't go well, Shalobite was in crisis, education of children, the children went to the deck. Balagan, Balagan, no I didn't. Balagan. And you come to Rosh Hashanah by hoping, you know what, God, let's forget about last year. Let's move to the next year. Open a new mazal. Come, Rabbi Shlomo Miradom said, because of that, Boreonam, do not answer your prayer. Because you do not believe on me. I am the king. I don't have to ask you what I'm doing, but one thing you have to accept, that everything that I'm doing, I'm doing for you. So in Rosh Hashanah, a person has to stand up and say, Boreonam, before any request, I came upon you to say thank you. Thank you for Tav Shem Pegin. Thank you for 2023. It was an amazing year. Maybe I didn't see it. And the fact that I lost money in the, in the, in the stack was amazing. Incredible because I got life. And the fact that somebody scratched my car and made scratch all it was amazing, incredible. And I lost the flight and I had somebody spoke the Shonara and he made, it was the greatest gift for me. I came here upon you to say thank you. Bore Olam, thank you for all the obstacles that you did. After you say thank you for a few hours, then you can say it. Now I can ask you. Now, Hashem Yitbarach, I can ask you anything I want. You know how I know that? You know how I know that? Listen in the Tfilah. In the Tfilah they have another two words. In the Tfilah they have, if you realize, and the 10 days of, of uh, Teshuvah, Aseret Yimei Teshuvah, we're adding 
في بوكا في التفينا ابرا مود بيادي وكتوب لخايم توفين كل بني بريت بيدف لا افتر دات مسين مي كمو خابر خمان زوخير تشوه برحمين لخايم the first two wishes is what give us life and give us life with mercy بيدف ريت we don't ask anything but life ما ما عندي اسكو كوشتن who said that life is good a person can be alive with cancer on him. A person can be alive with diabetes. Who said that life is good? Who said, who promised you that you can have a good life? But we, we ask only life. You don't ask for good life, you ask life. And then in the end of the tefillah, listen to what we ask. Uktov lechaim tovim. God sign us and seal us for good life. And then after that even more. ובספרים, פרנסו, ישוע, ברחוב, פעם, טה 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 טה. אני לא מבין, מה זה בגין? למה אתה בגין אתה בגין? אתה בגין 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 The bread, no problem. Okay, you took the bread. Said, Excuse me, so what do you want tomato? Said, the bread is dry. Can you put tomato? Only tomato. He said, okay, tomato. After five minutes, Excuse me, so what do you want now? Pastrami, come on. Put the pastrami. No, tomato, no pastrami. Put it, mix them. And excuse me, mayonnaise. Why you didn't ask everything for me? Because if I ask everything, I will never get. So you ask gradually. Right? Gradually is a nice one. Gradually, perhaps. Yes, <laughs> okay, now this is one. But the second explanation that I saw, this is the explanation of tonight. Life that we asked before is before Modim. You know Modim? Modim, you know what Modim? Modim is thank you. Before you do, you say thank you, you don't deserve to ask anything. After you say Modim, you can ask life, you feel a good life and everything. Because first of all, you have to say thank you. The second message of tonight is, before you come in to ask what you ask, say thank you for 2023. Boreo thank you. Thank you for the business deal that they want so badly, and it didn't work out. Thank you for the building that they put the offer, and they took the offer out, and they gave me the money, and they canceled the deal. And my, my worker that was working for me, stole it for under. Thank you very much for that. Thank you for the tickets that I got this year. And the, the cases that I lost in the courthouse. Thank you for the screaming between me and my wife. Balagani was busy, evil of action every day in the house. As you imagine, it was under, under fire. Not under construction, it was under fire. The house is under fire. Mother, him and the wife, Balagan, shotgun always. You know, Baruch Hashem, I went with my students to a uh, You know what they did? I don't know what they did to them. All the students stood around, and I am in one of the houses, and they shoot me. Now, I saw the IDF. I know how to shoot. Very well. I was in the most difficult jobs in the IDF. You know, my job is the, no, I mean, when I'm coming, everybody's dead, and I have to collect them. But I know how to see the bad side. And I was reading in the IDF. They are children, but they are smart, Jewish children. How can you win a person that went into... Mossad, Shabak, FBI, CIA, how can you win? You surround the house and you don't stop shooting. All of them are shooting from all over. Now, I got bumping, I came to my house, my, I came to my wife, my home, my head was behind her. She said, wow, you study a lot of Gemara today. <laughs> 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 I study a lot of Gemara, I study Gemara, I got Gemara to my brain, Gemara. After that, the day after, when I study everything, I went in, why? I have a lot of opening in my head. <laughs> I felt the hair, I felt everything of the gym. Ah, you hear that? Ay, ay, ay. First of all, we have to say thank you very much for the pension, for all the shooting that they got. Bora Olam, thank you for 2023. Tav Shin And after that, you can say, now I can come to this. Ube Sefer Chaim Tuvim. Tiktok. And Parnasam, Yeshua. Bora Olam, I want children. I want to get married. I want this. Ask whatever you want. Because after you say thank you, you have the right to ask. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rabbi Ashok Akim, and the Almighty God approved this message. Thank you very much for coming.